On Tuesday, the Employment Appeal Tribunal in London uh, passed this judgment. It's very lengthy. It's uh, 50 pages long. It affects all small, medium-sized enterprises. And if, in fact, it affects all companies who have employees who work overtime. What the judgment effectively says is that if you are uh, an employer uh, with workers uh, working overtime, you may have to increase uh, their holiday pay. Uh, previously, uh, overtime was not taken into account when calculating holiday pay, uh, but with effect from Tuesday and that judgment, you will now have to take that into account. Um, the uh, issue for all uh, employees employers is to determine uh, whether or not uh, those employees who are working overtime actually qualify for an uplift in holiday pay. The message is not every uh, employee who is working overtime will necessarily be entitled to an uplift in holiday pay. The, the, the second issue is this, you may have heard in the press um, that there could potentially be historical claims by employees dating back many years to recover um, unpaid uh, holiday pay. Uh, as a result of this judgment. The good news is that is not the case. Uh, there are very limited circumstances in which employees will be able to bring uh, historical claims uh, and therefore before taking any further steps uh, in the matter or, or speaking to our employees about uh, this matter, uh, a good idea would be to uh, seek some advice. So there are three points which you need to consider as a, as a business owner. Uh, the first point is, uh, do the relevant employees uh, qualify for this uplift in holiday pay? Uh, the second point is, how much holiday pay or additional holiday pay they should be paid? Uh, and the third point is in relation to historical claims. Do these employees uh, qualify for any historical claims? Uh, in respect to those three issues, if you need any advice, uh, then uh, please come and see me.